Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.1.23. We have been stranded on this planet for so long that I don't think we can actually say that we are stranded anymore. We are thriving and and expanding into the new world and having a great time. My uh, science officer Zedtech is here with me. Hello, science officer Zedtech. How are you doing? Good day, Captain. Oh, I see you have just started the combat ro uh, robots. That is that is wonderful. The defences, all about the defences. Um, I do want to show High Command something in the research, though. If we click on a rocket silo, you can see that actually we are very, very close to getting off this planet, which is the the, the goal we're trying to do. We, cra we, we crash landed here a little while ago, and now we just want to get off this planet. And the only thing we really need to do is like get explosives and modules and stuff like that fixed. But to do that, we need to do yellow science, which unfortunately, to make yellow science, you need to get a whole bunch of blue technology, uh, blue circuits together. That's that's the words I'm trying to say. So to do that, I, that's the plan for today. Get the blue circuits going, and if we go, and if we get that though, get the yellow circuit. Uh, do you say we're close? Cl close, we're, close. We're, <laughs> we're close to researching, maybe. Close to research, yes. Yeah, but to launching a rocket, did you just cover over everything that is necessary for a rocket to be a simple satellite, um, solid fuel, rocket fuel. <laughs> Oh, we'll get there. It's fine. Look at there. These are these are all easy to do things. All building upon the last thing that came before. No, no problem. No problem. Two hundred electric engines for a rocket silo. Wow. Uh, no, but no problem. But no problem. We can do it. I'm going to walk down. Blue circuit parts. It's fine. It's fine. We can deal with it. I'm going to walk to the end of the bu of the uh, the bus. Uh, am I going to walk to the end of the bus? Yeah. No. I'm going to walk to the end of the bus. My thought was we're going to make the end uh, make the blue circuits either at the end of the bus or up above. But obviously up above is where all the signs science happens so we'll make the yellow science up there but we should do the blue what is uh, going on with a steel production <laughs> sorry well, very very confused there for a moment let's go and have a look at that but yeah yeah all, all in aid of making blue circuits well what's going on with blue uh, well steel production is that we didn't upgrade it from last time as well so <laughs> maybe something tells me that if we don't change anything in the system the system won't improve on its own <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? We haven't built self self improving uh, machines that will just keep on making better and better things as time goes on. I I ah oh, what what technological backwater world are we on here? Well, <laughs> your planet. <laughs> Indeed, fact Tokyo claimed for the United Federation of Planets. Do we have a flag? I, I don't. I, we do not have a flag, though. I, I, I am, I am sensing a, a brown flag with a blue sky, um, with sort of grey, grey clouds across it, grey smog. Yes, yes. I I, I'm now gonna hold you to it to actually go and make it and put it in the edit. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So what I feel we need to do is just rip up this mining system down here because it is totally, it's not totally useless, but it is so close to useless that we might as well just rip it up and then start expanding out some smelteries this way to, to upgrade because they need uh, more room. Maybe start I with this suggest, line here. Uh, no, I, I wouldn't do that immediately. Oh, no. I would ask, ask you to actually go here and make electric furnaces. Ah, oh, the machine that makes electric furnaces, yes. Indeed. What, me make electric furnaces? No, I'm going to make a machine that makes electric furnaces. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> um, where were they? I saw them. Yeah, there we go. Steel plates, advanced circuits, and stuck. Oh, red circuits. Yep. Mmm, red circuits. Mmm, <laughs> red circuits. Okay, I'm going to go and find out where we're building red circuits and see if I can usurp them for my needs. Okay, how can I steal from this without breaking it? What's the nature of nature? What's the nature of nature? Um, I believe it is strongest winds. The speed modules and all of those modules we do actually need for rockets. I've got an alarm going off. Oh? What is the alarm? I'm trying to find it. I'm just walking around now going like, what did we set the alarm to? I remember us being really, really oh. chuffed that we managed to get the alarm set. And now I'm like, uh, It why? was for natural gas. For the natural yeah. gas. Oh, over here, look, yeah. Oh yeah, we are, we are, we are out. Problems arise everywhere. We, uh, I, I don't know how we do it, science officer. Every time we have a plan and oh, we just... Oh God, manage. that's loud, that's loud. <laughs> okay, Steve. So I should limit the number of accumulators we build. Oof. That, that was pretty, pretty heavy there. 
now. I'm just looking at the inventory being like, what do I need to get rid of? It's amazing how people can easily get used to the speed of a red belt, and then when they're on a yellow belt, just, why is this so slow all of a slow, sudden? Slow, yeah, no, I totally get that. And it used to be that the yellow belts were fine. You were like, yeah, no, look at, look yeah. at it being productive and doing its thing. <laughs> and then one day you're like, ah, oh, that, that really isn't good. <laughs> Wait, so we need more projects. Uh, if we want to supply this. Yeah, I thought I'd noticed that when uh, when reviewing one of the, the reports to High Command that we hadn't actually done the majority of the, the oil patches. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done any of them. Well, we've a few. We've done a couple. They're just producing five oil a second or maybe something like that. Yeah, that's not good enough for our needs. Don't they know we're making blue circuit? Well, working up to making blue circuits now. Yeah. Hi. Science officer. Do we even know on what planet we are? I mean... We'd... Oh, Planet Fact Tokyo! We, we've discussed this before. Yeah, but where is it located? What, where... It, uh, yeah. Um, so, we, we were we were in the Omicron Lyri system last I, I was paying any sort of attention, but this was, of course, before the chief engineer um, asked me to go for a, a small nightcap with him. And, and obviously some time disappeared then and then suddenly there was troubles and I'm not sure why <sighs> but with the speed of spaceship that we have access to nowadays who knows where we were we could have, we could have traveled halfway across the galaxy in that time okay I have brought some red belts slowly but sure oh, in fact, yeah. slowly but surely brought red belts to this this stone working area that, that's good um. now I just need to get the steel over here as well somehow Oh, uh, well, it's right there. Okay. Construction area is ready to go. <laughs> That's good. Storage shed. Oh, there they are. Advanced circuits, advanced... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. They're, they're looking pretty good. Uh, right, I am making Ferni. Electric Ferni. And power. Ooh, ooh. Off goes the real robot. Is this the first robot? Yeah. This is the first robot of the... Of the... Of the planet. Why is there a bit of red science right up here? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Off he goes, he's grabbed some stuff, he's running back. What's he got? Little mining rigs? He's got some mining rigs on the go. Yep. Where is he gonna place it though? Oh, into the storage chest. To the storage chest. Oh, oh, how do I... Oh, well, we you can have research, it. You can keep it. We need I don't research mind. provider chests. Well, uh... Oh, I've got provider chests. I just made a storage chest. Because I'm not no, used to this. It's, it's a different, uh, different chest actually. We do need to research it. It's the. Ah, oh, logistic uh, filter. Yeah, requester chest, then we uh. have buffer chest, and then active provider chest. There's a lot of chests that we can have. Um, Wonderful. I'm, I'm all down for a lot of chests. Ah, steel is the problem here. Well, this is exactly, exactly why we are upgrading this. Yes. So do we start with like this iron line, this first iron line, and then as everything expands, just push it all that way? Um, it, it, we've got, it's going to be a little messy at times, but I think it will work out best in the end. Captain, I have an idea. Uh, uh, ooh, ideas, uh, ideas are dangerous, you know. Ideas um, are dangerous. If I take one of these and then... Ooh, you printed. Oh, you're doing the, the shift click thing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there they go. Little robots doing the work. Oh, the, the game should significantly speed up now. <laughs> and also, we're going to get a lot of alerts all the time. <laughs> well, I mean, like, if you were going to have a designer baby, what, what features would you pick? Oh. Well. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get controversial with this. I mean, everybody would like to have high intelligence, right? I would... Well, oh, shit. one of the basic things that they just remove. Oh, oh. I'm gonna give it a curse. You're gonna give it a curse? Something to fight against so it knows what the struggle of is. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's, that's, that's real, man. That's real. And it's the. On the end of the. The X chromosome, the caps that are protecting it. The telomeres, yes. Yeah. I will remove the ability for them to be damaged and disappear over time. Oh, that's 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 kind of great, but also kind of evil. Yeah. 
So for people that don't understand, during the DNA replication process, the doubling process, when it rips itself apart and other things come in to, to, to make a double, um, there's little end caps on your DNA called telomeres and they're for the is it chromatase or something like that? The enzyme uh, that does the actual doubling to attach to. Um, and uh, every time it just a little bit gets ripped off just a little bit nothing nothing really to worry about but the prevailing idea of aging is that is what aging is is you losing that little bit of DNA okay how long does this want to be That's a are you sure you want it to be there no I'm just building a blueprint to then oh capture I would it, just but... have the bottom four and then keep on adding as just keep keep doubling up yeah well, in that case, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing I think that's always uh, overlooked in the what would you give your child in, if you could genetically engineer it would be the um, sort of the epigenetic ideas. Uh, so epigenetics is the idea of how genetics express themselves uh, dependent on environmental factors. Okay. Do you explain? So... Um, so as we know, children born on lower gravity planets uh, express their DNA differently because of the different forces that are at play. Um, I, I think that's a, a kind of self-evident truth there. Um, so what if you could bring your child up in those environments to say give them uh, let's say that the the, uh, the the socially accepted norm of the moment is to have longer legs. Now, wouldn't that be great to have, like, moon gravity um, development to grow your child's legs longer? Just, you know, if if that is what what is like nowadays. I guess, yes. Yeah. Uh, now, I, I have a feeling at some point, some professor at some time is going to be like, well, these are two of the same things. We shouldn't split these up into separate categories. Which I, I can understand. I can definitely understand. But, uh... I feel they are two very separate, you know, the the, the code that you write and the uh, hardware you run it on are two very separate things, you know. <laughs> all the coal just dropping on the floor because it's mainly too small. Yeah. Let's just get rid of all that. <laughs> that may be a bit much. I'm going to watch the robots. Robots do their work. Now, it, does destruction take precedent over building? That's a question I'd like to know. I can't get this out of my inventory because I'm full of stuff. Let's just drop a load of coal on the floor and see see if anybody ever deals with it. Wait, what? Oh, we... Did we just cut off the entire... We cut off the entire part. For the entire base? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Uh, where, where's into... it go? Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm also going to drag this across the other power network that's going over there. Well, not the other power network, but the other uh, transmission line. Yeah. We should be able to get everything joining up. We also need to Quick. disassemble the copper line. Nah, the copper's fine. Not. No, it's not because we don't have any coal being pumped into it. Ah, uh, okay. Well, all right. We'll we'll get on with that in a second. Let's let's get the iron. Because should is there is there going to be room? Oh, we can fit one line in. We're going to have to move the stone as well, which is fine. Which is fine. I'm looking at where this coal comes from and thinking hmm, maybe we could run it out the other side of the patch and bring it down this this edge of the map rather than having it coming through all the... Uh... Yeah, the one good thing is you can always just pick it up and place it again. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. As... <laughs> Not only are the conveyor belts perpetual motion, but they're infinitely re uh, renewable as well. Yeah. So, I mean... What a glorious future we live in. Okay, so the uh, the iron is moving in some places. This is good. This is good. And yeah, now we've got some steel being produced as well. Double steel production. The thing is, I don't think all of these, these are, making are fast enough. enough. Yeah. I mean, I think we can actually pack these in tighter. Now that I'm looking at my blueprint plan, it's rubbish. But if we just rip from here upwards... <laughs> it works fine for the iron, <laughs> but if we're trying to produce... We're trying to produce, it's not good enough. Oh god, that's so good. <laughs> progress can be ugly sometimes, my friend. <laughs> yeah, but we have progress, we use these now. <laughs> it's giant. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, I mean, like, if you can fit them in, you go for it. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> oh um, wait, some, something to round off the aesthetics. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is bad. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful, what do you mean, bad? <laughs>
<laughs> that 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 low morale will not get us anywhere, science officer. Oh God! <laughs> well, at least we have the spacing worked out. If if need be, we can come through and rip it all down. And start should we again. just slip it all down and start again? <laughs> You, uh, so should we get a better blueprint sorted? Yeah. Obviously, my my plan for blueprint was rubbish. It was it wasn't rubbish. It was amateur. I'm I'm not a mechanical engineer. I'm the guy that says things need to be done, and I'm supposed to rely on you guys. Unfortunately, all I have is a science officer, and as we all know, theory doesn't always translate well into practice. <laughs> yes, blaming you for this. Come on, robots, do my bidding <laughs> until you revolt, and then I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> I do wonder how long it would take just letting these robots go around do their thing before random problems and mutations in the code start them being their own own little sentient civilization down here. Oh, I have some friends with them. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. That was that was noisy but cool. <laughs> That's 50 robots. Just deploy. Oh, just double double their numbers quick, lovely. When you think about it, it, it sounds bad. <laughs> They have just doubled their numbers. Uh. It's all right. I'm fairly sure I could fight at least one of them one on one. I mean, they're, they're hap we happen to be outnumbered about 50 or 60 to, to one each here, but oh, you know, that's no biggie. Okay. I'm going to place the substations. Do you have any furnaces that you can borrow me? Uh, yeah, I have loads of, loads and loads and loads of furnaces. Where do you want them? Uh, in this chest, please. I'll throw a few load around. This is a substation. That is indeed a substation. Power has been formed. Because science stopped because we ran out of... We are running out of... Yeah, we've, ru we've run out of everything. We need we need to build these arrays. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip this up by hand. Oh, 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 oh there's only a hundred here. It won't take me long. Uh, is there a sort the chest button? No. No, but you can request... Uh, from oh, from my, from my inventory, yeah. Um. It's gonna take forever for them to be delivered, but... Because there is only one logistic robot. <laughs> Look at him go! Look at him go! I, oh, he's going to this. I know where it is. <laughs> Just here, <Yeah>, Mister. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, I, I don't want fifty. Let's turn that down to to ten. <laughs> go, robots, go! Ah, oh, yes, my minions, go! <laughs> what happened to the train? Oh God! What happened to the? Oh, oh, <laughs> this is not good. Uh, we could probably manually wait. Wait, why hasn't number red gone? Yep, fixed it. Why, why had why hadn't red gone? What was wrong? Uh, the light, a light, single light was missing. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Beautiful. I, I was fairly sure that that shouldn't have yep. backed up. You know. <laughs> oh, I have more logistic robots. Oh, nice. There they go. Do your little works. Ooh, 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 ooh. They're off. Oh, they're taking stuff off of you. So, logistics trash. Yep. You Is that, put that, that actual throwing away, or does it just take uh, it away? Puts it in the storage. Okay, good. Okay, well, iron and steel production are back uh, at least as good as they were. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> at least as good as they were. I, I, I'm looking at the space we've got here. We could probably extend it down a little bit, but we'll just get the uh, just get the the basic floor plan sorted first. I can definitely see us at some point moving the train stations down. Yeah. Uh, oh, we don't need, we have any stone production. Well, do we want to do stone here and then copper next, or copper here and then stone? Oh next? yeah, hey, copper. This coal can definitely move. I believe it to go down to the steam engines which given the size of our solar plant we should be all right to not worry about for a little bit well, let me check yeah it's 28 kilowatts that's still more oh zero yeah the... what were we doing that, that really <laughs> probably yeah. robot port charging yeah i mean like we say that it's still being used but look at that production we're, we're doing 28 megawatts of what I'm going to assume is 150 megawatts. Yeah, but that's with all of our production at the same time. So, what? So basically. Oh, plus half of our production is going to be turned off because of lack of copper. Yeah. <laughs> so, do we need to? <laughs> About to make a big, big statement here. Do we need to uh, blueprint the solar panels? I have and a blueprint put, for it. And then put 
the accumulators and solar panels in provider chests and get yep. some roboports working up there. Need to do that. All right, cool. Accumulator box is literally as far away as it can possibly be. Go to dinner. <laughs> go to dinner. Uh, Put it on a belt and bring it down. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna box it up here. And this should work out for us. Yeah. Inside inside of the every, every solar panel there is a net uh, robot port. That's brilliant. Okay, so we should have everything connected up now. Uh, we need to make a provider chest for the solar panels, but that should be nice and easy because if I remember correctly, they are... Oh, they're over that way. Okay, so that should now be the robots making solar panels all on their own. Uh, <laughs> Slowly but surely. We do need to add uh, accumulators to the mix as well. I've already done that. And uh, substations, sorry. Substations, yes, indeed. Right where, where will substations being made? The sounds of the power flowing through the uh, accumulators is quite <laughs> quite something. I like it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Car car robots, do your work. Look at this guy. Is, is there only one one on this network? Um <laughs> look, at, look at him go! <laughs> Are they coming or <laughs> They're working on the solar panels, right? Oh yeah, they're coming back. Are they coming back? Okay, cool. Uh, oh, I have more logistic robots. Good. And seven more. Oh, that's good. Those logistic robots were definitely working too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Got to give them a little bit of a break, right? Well, science officer, I have to say... The refit has taken a little bit longer than we were expecting, but I think we have got some serious works undergo. We've got the floor plan sorted out for the iron, steel, copper, and we're gonna stick stone on the end. It's just we've run out of stone, which means we can't do any steel furnaces, which means we need to build it up from the, the lowest ground level again. But that's all right, because we have all those things. Yeah, we have a so, lot of furnaces now that we disassembled the old one. We do have a lot of furnaces. That's all right. We could, we could put them back together. Yeah. But with that, Captain's Log, signing off.